You know why cantaloupes can't get married? Why? Because they can't elope. All right, when the melons are ripe, they turn this uh, yellowish tan color. So there's a green one. There's a ripe one. You know, it's hard to see with the sun blazing down. And they also get a little hairline crack around the stem when they're ripe. And the stem will pop right off. It's called a slip. So when the stem slips off into the melon, it's ready. One of the final picks of the season right here. Are they gonna fit? Barely. That just about wraps up cantaloupe harvest for 2020. There's a few scattered out here for next week, but the majority of them have been picked and that's kind of the way we plan things. We want them to mostly be done by Labor Day weekend. So, got a couple hundred in the bins today, heading up to get them washed. Dirty melons go in this side of the washer. They spin on the brushes while the water sprays down on them. This is where they pass through the washer, roll out onto the drying sponges, and onto the round table where we grab them and throw them into the bins before heading to the cooler. So we're out picking sweet corn today. We use two flatbed wagons with sideboards. Each one can hold around 300 dozen. We pick about four rows at a time normally. If you pick any more than four rows, you're so far from the wagon that it could damage the corn throwing it in. We can usually throw it from four rows over without any damage to the corn because of the husk protecting the kernels. We like to have at least five pickers, one on each row and then a cleanup person checking each row or picking out ahead, trying to keep the crew together side by side. If we get too spread apart, it's hard for everybody to get the corn in the wagon without throwing it really far. Today we're picking these final 12 rows in this field. This is 12 rows, it's probably about a half acre. And we're hoping to get around 400 dozen out of here. The rest of this patch all the way over to the field corn has been harvested already. We've got a couple thousand dozen out of this patch. We are nearing the end of the sweet corn season. We have two more patches after this one today. So probably less than three weeks and we will be done and then concentrating on pumpkins and fall crops. Some of you old timers may be wondering why the sweet corn is so short. Today's sweet corn only gets about five foot tall. 
Now in the old days, sweet corn would grow seven, eight, nine foot tall, but with improved genetics, we have short corn, sweeter corn, easier picking corn. You can see on some of these stalks, there are two ears. Almost every stalk has two ears. But normally we're only picking the one primary ear at the top. The second ear, I'm gonna get run over here. Most often the second ear is a miniature ear that has an unfilled top and it will never fully mature like the good ear. It would probably have some edible corn on it. But for the most part, it's just gonna be a half empty cob and not look anything like the number one ear that we are harvesting. Under perfect and ideal growing conditions, the second little ear on the stalk may produce a marketable, harvestable ear. But it would take perfect temperatures and perfect rainfall throughout the growing cycle of the sweet corn plant for that second ear to be marketable. So 95% of the time, we're only getting one harvestable ear per stock. Most likely, we will not fill both wagons today, but it's nice to have two wagons there, so when the pickers do get spread out, they have an option to throw in the back wagon or the front wagon. How's it feel to be dry today? It's great. Yeah, usually the cord is very, very wet, and everybody has to suit up in a rain suit. At least rain pants or you will get soaking wet from the morning dew each day. But today we have a nice breeze, it's dry, no humidity, and everything is nice and dry. So on our farm we grow about 30 to 35 acres of sweet corn and we like to get a yield of around a thousand dozen an acre. It doesn't always happen because we do not irrigate our corn so we rely on natural rainfall for watering the corn. And I've seen acres yield as bad as a couple hundred dozen. I've seen acres yield almost 1,500 dozen. So it varies all over the board where you don't have irrigation, overhead irrigation for your corn. But uh, the last couple acres have yielded very well. I'm pretty sure we're over a thousand dozen an acre out here today. And the corn looks very nice. Just about finishing up our first pass of four rows. And starting to get a little pile there. Probably 150 dozen in the front wagon. What a beautiful day. It's Labor Day, by the way. And I'm not gonna work these guys too hard since it's Labor Day. We just gotta get some corn and cantaloupes picked. And I'll let everybody off early today. Labor Day on a farm just means an easier day. It doesn't mean a day off from work. Certain things have to be picked every other day or they'll be too ripe. So today we're gonna get our sweet corn picked and get it in the cooler. Next up will be cantaloupes and zucchini. They need picked every other day, so after we get the corn in the cooler, we'll be out picking cantaloupes and zucchini, and then everybody will be off to enjoy their holiday. So if you're wondering how we know when sweet corn is ready, one way to tell is the silks turn brown and dry up. But with experience, you just know, looking at the corn, that it's ready to pick. It gets kind of a bulge here at the top and rounded. We know the kernels are fully ripe and it's ready to harvest. If we wait too long, we're gonna lose that sweet, sugary goodness. It's gonna start getting starchy and meaty. So that is why we gotta keep on top of corn harvest. Or if you harvest them too early, the corn won't have any flavor and it'll be really small kernels and blistery is what we call it. And kind of a blistery looking kernel, not completely full of that sugary, milky goodness that everybody loves. Peel back a ripe ear for you. And see how pretty that corn is. Absolutely perfect maturity right now. In a couple days it'll be too ripe and start getting meaty and starchy. So we have a pretty short window to get all this corn harvested. Especially when it's hot. Just finished up picking corn for the day. We're all heading up to the barn. Get it packed and into the cooler.
After we bring the corn into the barn, we put it into these green one and three fourth bushel tubs where we stack 20 on each pallet and roll it in the cooler. Each tub holds between four and five dozen, depending on how big the ears are. Today they're pretty big, so we're probably only getting four dozen in each tub. Well, we ended up with about 500 dozen ears of sweet corn and 300 cantaloupe. I hope you enjoyed the process that we used to get corn and cantaloupe from field to cooler. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer those. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more videos like these. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again real soon.